is what we're working towards every single day. And I am so proud of you. It took your idea and your thought to make something like this happen. You are beautiful, you are loved, and we appreciate you so much. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I just want you to take one moment and look out over your people. Look at how big this is. Look at this. This is truly an act of revolution. Girl, I wrote a paper. You, oh, you, shut, shut, down a, you shut down a city. Good day. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, let me say this now while I have your attention. If you want this to continue, we need you to help. And the only way that can happen is if you volunteer. Maybe you didn't quite catch that. If you want to see your pride in your city continue, you need to volunteer. We can't do it without you, and without you we wouldn't have a pride. So please get involved, and please keep this going. Wherever you're going to school next year, girl, take it there too. We love you and we appreciate you. Thank you. Girl, when I saw that on CBS News, I said, what is she doing, girl? You wrecking the you, you trying to give off vice president a heart attack, girl. I mean, do what you gotta do to get rid of him. I'm kidding. Did I say that out loud? I said I was trying to be a Christian today. Is it going? How can I tell you something? Every day, because where I work in DC, he drives past every day. And I'm happy to report that people stand on the little route and flick him off as he drives by. He blocked off the streets in D.C., so we'll block off the streets in his hometown. Okay. Because it's really, really important to understand one thing, and that is having pride in who you are and loving yourself is an act of revolution that not a lot of us have. So being out here and being visible and being able to see each other, that is truly what's beautiful. And don't let anyone, including the government, tell you that you're not beautiful. I will say this, and I want you to scream me out. My trans brothers and sisters are not and cannot be a burden. My gay brothers and sisters cannot and will not be a burden. Ladies and gentlemen, as I tell them at every show I host, if you are living your best life and it's not affecting anybody else, keep doing you, put on your pumps and strut down the street. Guys, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You all ready for some more entertainment?